Hey there! Uh, today we're going to do something a slightly bit different, and I have done this type of thing in the past, but not a whole lot, but I, I do find it interesting to do once in a while. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a book, a book on pens. Okay, this book was lent to me by my friend Murray, and uh, thank you, Murray. And I think it's interesting to go over, because there are actually a lot of books out there on fountain pens, but people are not always aware. This one is very specialized, has a very specialized focus. Often you'll find books on the history of pens, or here's a very nice coffee table book with a hundred thousand different pens in it, so to speak. But this book has a very specific focus, so I thought it would be interesting to talk about that. It is the Animal Designs on Pens by Regina Martini. Tia Motiv auf Schreibgeräten, because it's, uh, uh, the author is uh, uh, based in Germany. So, interesting book, Animals on Pens. Let's have a look. Okay, so the book by Regina Martini, who is um, uh, also the owner of Martini Auctions. You may know her, she's, um, she's you, can, you can find her at some pen shows. She has an eBay uh, store and she, uh, she also has her own website, Martini Auctions. Mainly vintage stuff, but, but also some interesting, hard to find things. And today we're going to look at her book. So you have this nice slipcase. Uh, with uh, with some animal print pens on it, and then you have the book. What's the top and what's the bottom? Let's try and find this out. Yep, the other way around, of course. Well, it's unmarked, people. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so this one happens to be signed, a signed copy. So that's always fun, right? Uh, it's a book from 2018, and if you look online uh, you you may be able to find one for about 160 us okay so there's uh, uh there's there's some uh, you know street prices a little lower than the msrp which was about 199 us so we have a book we have a book on pens now i'm sure you're not really interested in the preface uh, right here but the whole book is set up in a way that I found very interesting. So it's organized kind of alphabetically, right? So we, we start with A, uh, brands with A, and all the pens have animals on them, right? That's obviously the theme. Nice book, glossy pages. Uh, so as a, as a book itself, it's, it's, a, it's a thick paper, it's printed on. So if you actually like books, as I do, this is a, a very nice one to fondle and feels like it's uh, it's bound in linen so it's a nice very nicely bound properly made book the printing i find very clear so the pictures uh, the photographs are very very clear and as i said it's a very nice setup uh, she doesn't waste a lot of time on extensive backgrounds it's basically a catalog, right? So that's very interesting. So we're going to leave through it a bit, not the whole thing, obviously, but just a little bit. We just show you, show you the setup. So it's very interesting. You have the brand of the pen, right? You have the specific model, right? And uh, then you have the year. It was launched, the number of pens made, the filling system, and the material. And you'll see, I mean, this is, I was pointing at this, this is German, but it's a bilingual book, right? It's German and English. And I'm just saying it has a very small description, which I also kind of like. It's very much to the point. It's it's uh, no long stories. It's very to the point. So it's easy to, to look things up in this book. And then the final thing that's interesting is that it gives um, original price and then a collector's value, which is interesting. Now, of course, the issue with collector's value is that that is not a static amount, right? That can vary a bit through time. But... Um, yeah, uh, still, it's, it's nice to have a bit of an indication, especially if you want to purchase a pen, you see something advertised on eBay, for example, or at a pen show, at least it gives you a little bit of an idea of, of what, what type of price you should be looking at, right? So I think this is quite nice. I, um, uh, I, was, I was leafing through it uh, a few hours ago, and there's a lot of really interesting stuff in it, and it's very interesting to see. Now, I personally 
I'm someone I, uh, I I don't really care a whole lot for prints on pens. I don't really care for maquillage. I have a deep respect for the artistry in it, of course, um, but I I don't really um, I, I I wouldn't really purchase this necessarily for myself. But it's very interesting to see the craftsmanship that has gone into some of these pens, and uh, it's very interesting to see the pricing too. Here we have a Cartier. Uh, 8,000 euros uh, collector value, right? So some of these things are exceptionally expensive But it's very interesting and what I also really like is not only does it give you that price and a bit of background information It also gives you an idea of how many pens were made and that is nice because sometimes it's interesting to see the rarity of a specific pen model, right? so I really think this is uh, this is quite nice, uh, a nicely researched book, nicely printed, nicely bound. So it's 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 a, a a fun book to fiddle around with, to sort of have on your coffee table, to kind of leaf through a bit. Not necessarily something I think that you would really read cover to cover, but it it is pretty much an encyclopedia, right? And and that is. Uh, very worthwhile. So in my mind, very interesting, interesting text here, uh, beautifully illustrated. So I can see how, especially if you do like prints on pens, especially of course animal prints, uh, this would be the book, right? This is clearly the ultimate book. The problem always with these kinds of catalogue type books is that new pens are released all the time. So at some point it will become outdated, but for now, um, yeah, it's it's fun regardless, and uh, I, I I liked it a lot. I, I very much enjoyed this. So there is that, and then here in the end you have a nice table of contents. And um, uh, what I enjoyed about it is that it's it's organized very nicely. So you have the brand name of the pen, you have the year of it being launched, you have. Uh, the specific model and then you have the page so it's 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 very well set up so I think it's a great book and I think it's it's a lot of fun it's it's a, a pretty book and relatively speaking I think it's pretty affordable $160 for a book that's not nothing but on the other hand you can also imagine they did not print 500 million of these books and it's very specialized so you'll you'll pay a bit more for that the man hours that have gone into this, or maybe I should say the person hours that have gone into this are, are clearly uh, uh, exceptional because there's a lot, a lot of work that's gone into this. So there you have it. Regina Martini's Tiermotiv auf Schreibgeräten, aka Animal Design on Pens. I hope this was useful. It may have given you an idea of something you want to check out. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.